eFlight Expo, making aviation greener since 2009. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Uh, welcome to this presentation here. Uh, this presentation, in this presentation, you will see uh, a seaplane. But actually, this presentation is not about a seaplane. It's about a hydrogen fuel cell power train, the HiFly H167, uh, which we installed in this seaplane at Bonnie Sea Wings uh, DS2C, which is our test bed. The HiFly. Uh, the project is an endeavor of Casero and PSITEC, in which Casero contributes uh, its knowledge of uh, aircraft design, uh, prototype manufacturing and certification. From PSITEC's side, the contribution, the contribution is the knowledge about hydrogen fuel cell systems, as well as their unique uh, high-sphere spherical fuel tank. Uh, if you want to see our project, please visit us in our booth uh, in HAL 7, uh, 321. Uh, the HiFly is originally a uh, SIM-funded project funded by the German uh, Ministry of uh, Earth and Climate Action. Uh, with the contribution of the companies uh, Casero, PSHITEC, University of Applied Science, Woodscourt, Schweinfurt, and the company Flying Ed in Austria. Despite the low public visibility of our project, uh, HiFly has already received uh, two prizes. Uh, 2023, the winner of the Aero Sustainable Aviation Award in the category Energy Source and Aviation Propulsion Systems, and uh, this year, 2024, University of Würzburg Schweinfurt received the Aero Career Innovation Award in the, Sonder, uh, in the category uh, Special Price Aviation. Now I want to introduce you the HiFly 167 um, hydrogen fuel cell system to you. It's a modular uh, fuel cell system from the fuel tank to the prop shaft. The H167 delivers maximum 70 kilowatt, so it is uh, uh, on purpose designed to meet the requirements of current uh, two-seat light aircraft, um, which are nowadays uh, powered by uh, Rotax 912, which is the most common engine in this category, as you know. Yeah? Our uh, powertrain is designed uh, for ultralight aircraft, light sport aircraft, very light aircraft, and motor gliders. Uh, we uh, carry 7 kilograms of hydrogen, which may sound a little bit low, uh, but if you know that 1 kilogram of hydrogen has an energy content of 33 uh, kilowatt hours, you can calculate that we have uh, energy of 231 uh, kilowatt hours on board. This is more than every electric vehicle has nowadays. With uh, the assumption of 30 kilowatts uh, for continuous horizontal flight uh, and some losses in the conversion from hydrogen to electric power, we can uh, assume that we have a uh, flight time of 3 to 4 hours depending on the aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft. So here you can see the architecture of the uh, system. Simplicity is the key in this case. Yeah, we want to stay as light as possible. The system consists of the spherical fuel tank, uh, the fuel cell system, the booster battery, uh, the electric control unit, and the electric motor. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a, 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 a hybrid system 
of a fuel cell system and a booster battery. The advantages are, of course, zero CO2 emissions, long range and long endurance. It's lightweight and powerful, uh, safe and reliable. We can fly on battery only if necessary. Uh, low noise, simple in handling. It's affordable and has competitive operation costs. So here you see the installation in our demonstrator, uh, DS2C High, uh, which you can also see in the HR7 uh, booth 321. So now I show you a video about the development of the powertrain and the implementation in our demonstrator. The aircraft was given to us by Dorn Receivings. It's the second prototype of the DS2C. Um, and here you see the state where we received it after flight testing. It was, of course, in a poor condition. The aircraft was refurbished and repaired in our workshop, where you see here some pictures scanning of the interior to uh, create new interior <coughs> components. This is a new canopy, which is also not standard to the uh, standard high fly, uh, flywheel. And uh, of course a new cowling. And finally, a new paint job. So here you can see it nearly ready painted. And yeah, the rest you can see over there in Hall 7, uh, booth 321. More pictures about the uh, assembly and the creation of the uh, H167 powertrain. Here you see the testing of the powertrain at the University of Stuttgart. installation into the aircraft with a new uh, cowling system which has two independent cooling systems one for the electric drivetrain and the second one for the hydrogen fuel cell system this is necessary because the two uh, systems because the two systems have uh, considerably different temper operating temperatures this is the end of the video and please visit our booth uh, just behind the hall, a wall. Uh, so this is maybe more interesting on the technology side. It's the comparison of the bait uh, if you install a HiFly H167 uh, system. The, it's clear in comparison to a Rotax 912 uh, installation. A typical 912 installation weighs approximately 160 kilograms. Yeah? Uh, you have 75 kilograms for a 912 IS, for example. You have a firewall forward, firewall, firewall forward installation weight of approximately 21 kilograms. That is uh, an additional motor mount, uh, firewall, um, cooling system, and such things. Yeah? And you have fuel lines and fasteners, depending on the aircraft, approximately 4 kg. Fuel tanks, uh, depending if you have one or two, uh, 10 kg is the average. And if you carry fuel for 4 hours, you have 50 kg uh, of fuel on board. When you compare this to the uh, HiFly H167, uh, you see that our fuel cell system weighs uh, 46 kg. Buffer batteries, we require minimum 45 uh, kilograms, also depending on the aircraft. Uh, motor and power electronics is 36 kilograms. Uh, the hydrogen uh, fuel tank is 35 kilograms and the fuel in this case is 7 kilograms. 
So uh, altogether, that's 169 kilograms. That, that's not less than a Vortex installation, but we are coming close. So HiFly does not want to only supply uh, hydrogen fuel cell power trade to you. We are also supporting uh, you in the integration uh, in this power train into your design. We can look back on more than 10 years of experience in designing and certifying aircraft. We can support you in performance calculation, weight and balance calculation, structural layout, uh, maintenance assessment and certification work. Here you see another example of an installation, of a plant installation in a more traditional aircraft. So thank you for your attention and um, please visit our booth in A7321 or contact me via this address uh, via Stuttgart, Röblingen and I'm looking forward to your questions. How can you receive? eFly journal, just scan the QR code on the cover or on the promotion postcard or on the back side of the promotion postcard or type www.e-flight-journal.com in your browser and you receive the up-to-date blog site with the latest information from the world of electric flying or click on the top page and you receive the latest version of the PDF magazine either to read on your computer or cell phone directly or click on the link below and then you can download the PDF of the magazine as a offline magazine to read anywhere you want even without internet connection. Thanks and goodbye. Thank you.